guys, John V from Phone Room. I'm live here at MWC 2015. I'm hanging out at the HTC booth. I'm doing a quick video, first look between the HTC One M9 and the Motorola Moto X 2014 edition. So let's just jump right in, talk about their designs. Uh, they both have an appealing edge to them. On one hand, you have the M9. The M9 is completely made out of metal. It has a dual finish design, has a more premium quality sturdier feel we'd say solid construction um, and you know it just has that elegant you know sophisticated look here meanwhile with the Moto X 2014 uh, the cool thing about it is that it has a customized design you could change of course the way the back cover looks you could choose different materials you have that nice metal trim um, and uh, you could even customize even some of the accents like the a volume control button and around the Motorola logo right here now the boat they both have you know a contoured look you know, uh, uh, contoured edge in the back, so they feel quite, you know, ergonomic when you hold them in the hand. And we honestly, you know, even though the uh, Moto X 2014 is slightly wider, they both feel relatively good in the hand. As far as feature set, it's pretty light with the Moto X. Uh, nothing really to say much about it. You don't, you don't even have things like a micro SD card slot for a memory expansion, nor do you have things like an IR blaster. You do have those things with the HTC One M9. On top of that, you have those dual front firing speakers with HTC boom sound and Dolby audio support. Um, so that's pretty, pretty good with that. As far as their display is concerned, they both utilize 1080p. It's a matter of which display technology your eyes prefer. You have a 5-inch 1080p Super LCD 3 display in the uh, M9 and a slightly larger 5.2-inch 1080p Super AMOLED, dis uh, AMOLED display in the Moto X. Now, they have the different qualities. The Moto X have, has that vibrant color reproduction. A little bit on the oversaturated side, but you can see how crisp and distortion-free it is at wide angles. Uh, but the brightness output's not quite as good as from what we saw in our review. As for the Moto, I mean the uh, HTC One M9, the Super, the uh, Super LCD 3 display, you have a more neutral, natural color reproduction and great outdoor visibility. In terms of detail, though, you're hardly going to notice the difference between these two. Now, if we take a look at their respective experiences, totally different. You have a pretty mostly stock Android experience with the Moto X 2014. You do have some of those subtle customizations from, Mo from Motorola, such as Moto Voice, Moto Actions, that really help to um, you, you know, make the, uh, the software features quite useful. They're not really redundant. And we do like things like active display, where it shows you notifications without turning on the screen entirely. But when it comes to the visual appeal, HTC Sense 7 is, has that modern look and it's really enhanced just because now you have more personalization qualities with it. You could customize the theme, the look, even the way the icons look in the app panel. And you could also add different types of functionality with the menu bar here at the bottom. So you have a cleaner, you know, more modern looking design versus a mostly stock Android experience with the Moto X 2014. As far as our camera's concerned, you have the 20 megapixel camera of the uh, of the uh, Moto, I mean, of the uh, HTC One M9, and with the Moto X, uh, you know, it still has a pretty pretty good camera. It's a 13 megapixel camera in the back there, and um, as far as the front-facing cameras are concerned, you're going to have a wide-angle ultra pixel camera in the M9. So that's going to be handy when it comes to low lighting performance and whatnot. So that is a quick look at the two handsets, folks. If you guys want to learn more about either of them, you can check out our website, phonewinder.com. It's John B. Yeah. Thanks for watching.